All right, Shane back here again with my Nexus 5. I'm gonna show you guys how to unlock the bootloader and root this thing. Um, actually, it's my first time going through it actually here in this video, so uh, hopefully nothing goes wrong. Just wanted to show you all a few links and sites you need to go to to get the tools that I'm gonna use to do this. Uh, first off, I guess I can give a little disclaimer. Obviously, I did not, well, I did not build any of these tools or programs or files. And if you use them, use them at your own risk. If you break your phone, it's not my fault. It might be Chainfire's fault. No, I'm just kidding. Chainfire is an awesome developer. And uh, I'm not taking credit for any of his work. I'm just showing people how to maybe use it in an easy way. If you go to his forum in the Nexus five thread or you go to the thread in the form there you can see he talks about how to download the CF auto root and you go to his home page here for CF auto root repository and scroll down sorry about the lighting the flickering backlight of my laptop but scroll all the way down to the bottom uh, we have some the LG Nexus 5 click over here on the file link and that will start the download process on this page actually scroll down and click on that once you click on that it's gonna download um, I've already gotten mine downloaded it is here in my files here so it comes as a zip just double click or right click on that and extract all tell it where you want to extract to I extract to the same folder uh, and inside this folder you will find these files uh, the image folder tools folder root Linux root Mac and root Windows so I'm on Windows 8.0 and I'm going to use that file there. Um, I did right click on that and go down to the properties and earlier on the security here, actually on this general tab there was a uh, notification telling me it was blocked so I unblocked this bat file to run and now it's able to run and it doesn't even get me give me the option to lock it back but it is unlocked you might have to unlock it if you have an issue like I said I haven't ran this yet so I don't even know if I'm gonna have an issue but from from here we're gonna take the Nexus 5 and plug it into the USB cable okay now I got it plugged in to the side of my computer and we're good to go so Actually, I'm going to turn this off, power off. Okay, shut down. And I'm gonna turn it on while holding the, the volume down button. So pressing and holding the power and down, volume down button should bring me into fast boot hopefully. Nope, missed it. There we are, fast boot. So, fast boot mode. Um, I actually have the whole Android SDK on my computer um, software development kit so I should have all the drivers installed so uh, this should go well I'm, like I said I'm plugged in now to the computer and we're just going to go over to the files that we downloaded and double click root windows bat double click in it please make sure your device is in bootloader and fast boot mode before continuing yes 
press control C following by Y to cancel, press any key to continue. So they're letting us know that we're going to lose all our internal storage. So I'm just going to press the space bar, it's continuing. And I might fast forward through some of these parts, they might take a while. I did want to show you what we had going on here. Oh, so unlock bootloader. That is what I want to do. So I'm going to pick yes. I actually have to do that with the volume rocker. Go up and then hit the power button to select it. Now we'll see that the lock state, if that'll focus, the lock state is unlocked and it says erasing. So it's now erasing all my uh, personal data, but I have not put anything on it, so we're good to go. Rebooting. There's a couple things happening over here. It says press any key to continue. It may take a few minutes. All right. I am seeing the red Android. It says if you don't, you might be having issues, but I am. So we're good to go. And looks like it's rebooting once more. Now we have the unlock icon and a little update going on there. But now what I'm going to do is uh, I believe this batch actually does it for me. It pushes the super user um, APK to the to the phone and I should be rooted. So let's see what happens. So after uh, the phone rebooted um, and did the system update, uh, well the little icon there for a while, now it's actually in the boot splash screen and I believe it's going to take a little while here but I just want to give you an update as it's moving on. So I'd say that was a success. Uh, all I did was download those files from Chainfire and uh, just use the windows.bat file and we're good to go. Actually I checked here in the app drawer and I do have super su, super user. So if I open that up, uh, go to settings, looks like we're good to go. Um, looks like it, there's no binaries to update or anything. Um, maybe it just updates through the Play Store uh, automatically. But I'm um, not sure about that. Leave a comment if you want to let me know how that goes. But either way, if you follow this as a tutorial and it worked for you, hey, give me a thumbs up. Um, thanks for watching. And hey, congrats on your Nexus 5 if you have one. If not, you should get one. Pretty cheap for the uh, bang for the buck. I mean, it's a really nice phone. Either way, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Take it easy.